In today's world where people are constantly seeking for new and innovative solutions, creativity becomes a highly sought after skill. However, many people don't think they are creative and they don't know how to obtain such skill. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew, a recent computer science with AI graduate from University of Nottingham and on this channel we explore ways to improve our work, our life and ourselves in general. Today, I'd like to share what is actually creativity and how can we become more creative. First, I'd like to share some examples of my childhood drawings which my friends and family consider them quite creative. But yes, instead of showing you just how creative they are, I'm gonna break them down and tell you how uncreative they are. Let's get started. Alright, so okay, right over here I have a bunch of notebooks. This is something I actually got back from Malaysia and the time when I travel back so all of this inside contains all my work, my creative work but I would like to first start from when I was really young when I was around age 6 to 10 you can see there's a bunch of stuff okay so over here age 6 to 10 this is what I actually thought of I wanted to start a, com uh, not a, computer, a, a company uh, uh, actually a restaurant restaurant chain and everything and in turns it turned out to be conglomerate so there's like game for restaurant there's like uh, buffet express mean market and then organic center there's a mall and then there's even a cargo express which is i don't know um like delivering cargo internationally something like that. and then the jx airport just like my name and then the airport and i have a bunch of companies kind of drawn out something like that and yeah so you all think that this is cool, you know, I kind of thought it out around 6 to 8. But in fact, when we look at it, you know, all these locations, all these locations, all these locations over here, which I said I'll be opening branches and all that, are actually places which I've been. And like, why do I actually start with restaurant? I don't know, actually, in fact, I don't know why I started with restaurant, but buffet and express, this is something which was quite popular back then. I got, uh, I got to know it, so that's why I built it in here. Mini market something that opened quite a lot in Malaysia, Organic Center, because during that time, I, when I go to visit my grandparents, I usually go to have our lunch at a good Organic Center because my grandma is actually a vegetarian. Quite cool. North 6 Mall, not, not really sure, but I, I, I got some idea on kind of just make it into into a better name itself, like just Game Food 6 Mall or something like that. So, and finally here, actually this conglomerate thing is actually from YTL Corp. So back then I learned about YTL Corp, which is the developer of the condo which I used to live in. And it's literally like three letter something. They have land, they have power. Even today it's still there, you can search it up. And it's literally, they have their corporation, it's like YTL Corp. And it's since like 1970 something. So. I literally copied that, like, even though it might look creative on a whole, but no, in fact, tiny, tiny little stuff are all very basic stuff, which I just copied somewhere. But now, after this one, let's go on to something which I draw around when I was 10 to 12. Okay, so here, Jokemon, written over here, Jokemon. So this is actually what I've drawn because um, back then I really wanted like Pokedex book. Pokemon was quite a cool thing. I wanted Pokedex book and all that, but my parents wouldn't, wouldn't buy it for me. So yeah, I kind of just started drawing all that, you know, Pokedex, there's like numbers and all that. So I started it and then I drew some stuff, um, a bunch of them. You can see that some of them are quite similar to some Pokemons, which you have, you might have seen. So I drew them, I, I, I kind of wrote their, I don't know why there's MP, there's like HP and MP, I forgot what it actually means. And then their powers and all that, you know, I drew quite a lot. In fact, all, over here, all the way until like 70 something. So this is like kind of my Pokedex. This one, which I actually colored them and then I tried to make their, their evolve, how, how they evolve and all that. I think I just got tired of coloring it. So eventually I kind of drew it. I just drew it instead of coloring it. You can see that definitely you know what it is. Very funny. And yes, and of course there is this amazing book, the, one of the oldest book, which contains a bunch of my drawings yeah back then all that all this kind of stuff i just kept it yeah all this kind of stuff it's like right here inspired by pokemon and then there's of course that's a jock plan comic so basically 
um, Job Plant is kind of like a plant version of Job Mon, inspired by Plant the Zombie, as you can see from the plant, the, the pea shooters on the other. I drew, yeah, a bunch of comics because I don't know, I just wanted something, so I just drew quite a lot actually. How many episode 43? So I kind of drew 43 pages on the other, even though it on a whole it looks cool, in f but on its basics, it's just like. Uh, modified version of Pokemon and Plant vs Zombie, and then we go on to something which I draw draw during when I was around 12 to 15. Yes, EGZ list of history. Very interesting. You can see all these are smartphone all the way into 2020. Interesting, but definitely I drew this before year 2020. The reason why I drew this is because that time I was inspired by Apple and Xiaomi smartphones. So. I thought of, you know, why not just create this smartphone brand on my own? It's kind of cool, you know, starting a smartphone brand. That's why I came up with the name EGZ. Why EGZ? Because, you know, Apple. <laughs> Apple's name come from a fruit. And I was like, you know, why not just think of a name from a, a, a food item as well? So I, I thought of egg and then trying try to make it cooler. So I was like, make it... Pre previously, it's like EGGZ. There's like some some documents which are not here, which are still EGGZ. But over here, it's like newer, and I I, I kind of just made it EGGZ it's like easier that way. And so yes, I imagine like even back in two thousand, even though it's definitely never happened, I imagine that it was like a competitor to iPhone when it came out, the EGZ one, like how's the processor, the RAM, graphics, yeah, all that's kind of go it goes all the way up, like all the design and all that. All the way up, all the way up until 2020. I, I, I forgot when I drew this. I think it's around 2015, I think. Yeah, I drew a bunch, you know, that's like EGZ N4 with a bunch of their details on the specs and everything. Um, yeah, I wrote a bunch of names, Chinese name for it, a Chinese version of it, EGZ N5 Chinese version. I literally wrote on my, my, my exam paper. I don't really enjoy exams, but then I enjoy the time after that where we have to, we are forced to sit there and then wait for it to end. So I just kind of draw a bunch of it, like a bunch of it. Look at this, this is like iPhone Pro. So yeah, I even thought of iPhone Pro. That's like this iPhone R, the right choice and designed for iPhone R. Bunch of different things, Charge Plus. Yeah, that's the EGZ5 NX. And I kind of drew the whole concept out of it. Uh, EGZ NT, a tablet. A band, um, yeah, EGC Next concept, an uh, older version and a newer version. Yeah, I drew a bunch of stuff, even like the whole product timeline, the, all the possible iterations that I might want to make, or even this one is a, a lot earlier. I drew a floor plan, something like that. So, yes, these are all the stuff which I thought of. But in fact, even though it's cool, I am literally just copying off the idea, like the name came from Apple and then all this kind of stuff, the processor, everything. I don't, I, it's not something new. I just copied it and then I tried to make it better a bit. I, I, I learned from like the phone, phone spec sheet and all that, like even design and all this like interface, whatever, changes little bit by little bit, but they all came from one, one or another phone. It's not like totally creative, but it's just because I, com I made so many copies from various things that you know, it kind of turned cool afterwards. So, now that I've gone through my stories, now let's talk about what is actually creativity. By definition, creativity is the use of imaginations and original ideas to create something. That sounds like thinking out of the box, isn't it? But actually, it isn't. As shown from all the things that I've drawn before, none of them are truly original. It's actually multiple pieces of copied ideas that make something new and unseen. And this is what makes it seems like it's new and original and people just call it creative. That's why creativity isn't actually just about thinking out of the box. It's actually more like widening the box or what we call exposure to new experiences. After you have widened your box, you will be able to make things which people think is creative. Only 1% of the time, it's actually you thinking out of the box. Creativity is actually something that everyone has, but most people has limited amounts of it because of their experiences. 
So the most important thing we need to do is to widen your box. And in order to widen your box, there's this three-step method that you can do. Explore, think, and do. First, explore. Find things that are new to you or places which you have never been to. Basically, we are trying to explore beyond our own knowledge base or basically we are trying to explore beyond our own circle or our comfort zone. But it doesn't have to be something too dramatic. Now it could be just finding a new YouTube video which you never thought you would like to watch or even just finding a park that's near to your house that you have never been to. Second, think. So after you have explored new things, give the thing that you have explored a thought. You know, just think about it. Any thought is okay. Maybe question why they exist or even why you have never thought of them. You don't actually need any answers for all these thoughts that you're thinking. Just think about it and let your imaginations guide you. Third step, do it. Enough thinking, now it's time for action. You can now go ahead and find the answers for the questions that you have thought of. Now you can find it out for yourself or you can ask around. Of course, if you want something easier, you can go ahead and just watch the video which you have searched or, you know, just visit the park which you have explored. Now that you know this three-step process, you just need to do it again and again, over and again. Just keep doing this process and you'll find that eventually you get a lot more creative. If we think of all our experiences as a box of canvases, when you're exploring, you're basically bringing out a new blank canvas. When you're thinking, you're actually drafting your first copy of the drawing on the canvas. Then, when you're doing it, you're actually coloring the canvas. Through this process, you find that you're widening the box to store more and more canvases. Eventually, you find that you'll be able to extract bits and pieces from each of the canvas to create a canvas which you individually own. That is how you become creative. So yes, now that you know how to become more creative, let's explore some other ways to help others become more creative as well. Creative ideas are always unusual and unpopular. So when you realize that people around you or even your child is doing something new and unusual, don't stop them. Try to understand them. We can give our suggestions, but we should never criticize them. It's all about the trust and support that we provide them that allows their creativity to flourish. And I believe you wouldn't want people to stop you when you're actually expressing your creativity. If you're interested in reading more, there's a New York Times article linked in the description below which I find really helpful because it contains a few actionable ways to try to make yourself a little bit more creative. That's it for this video. I hope it helped. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe and maybe check out my previous vlog where I vlogged the final day of our club mat trip with my friends. Or you can check out the Ink Thoughts podcast, which is a podcast created by me and my girlfriend Vereen, where we explore incongruous thoughts in our daily life. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.